Welcome to another new session of MATLAB function and this is me David John and today I am going to show you how to concatenate arrays vertically using the function vertical concatenation specified over here VERT cat. The syntax of this function is C is equal to vertical concatenation which takes two arguments A and B which are arrays that needs to be concatenated vertically and the result is obtained in C which is another array. The one of the prime requisite that A and B should follow is A and B should have same number of columns irrespective of the number of rows. So consider the example over here where A as three columns and B as three columns. Only in this case where the number of columns in both A and B are equal, only in that case we can concatenate vertically. So in this example I have taken A with first row 1, 2 and 3 and the second row 4, 5, 6 and B with only single row 7, 8, 9. So on executing this function C is equal to vertical concatenation of A and B I obtain the result as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the third row is 7, 8, 9. So I obtain C with 3 columns but the number of rows is equal to the total number of rows of A and B where in A I have 2 rows and in B I have 1 row that is 2 plus 1, 3. I can concatenate any number of rows by specifying the array that needs to be concatenated as the third parameter or fourth parameter or so on. So in this case I have taken D with as, a, as another array where D is equal to eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So on executing this function, I obtain result as eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven, twelve, thirteen. Sorry, I have never inserted a semicolon at the end of D. That's why I've got an extra output 11, 12, 13. So, this is how we have to use the vertical concatenation function in order to concatenate arrays vertically. That's all guys. Thank you.